Good afternoon, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Grab Bag. The first grab bag we've done in a long time, since my most recent Saturdays have been quite busy. Um, but today we've got something pretty new new and fresh and exciting, actually. Uh, this is Exodiver, an adventure by Drew Van Camp. <laughs> uh, very early prototype, uh, V0.0.1, if we were to believe that little bit on the bottom there. Um, but if uh, the name Drew Van Camp sounds familiar, it should because we played Revo uh, for a little bit not too long ago. And in fact, we're looking to get back into that for a grab bag at some point as well. But uh, this is, this is Exodiver, an adventure. An adventure. I have no idea what's in store for us. It's the first time we've seen it. Obviously, it's an extremely early prototype, so take that as you will. Uh, let's, let's play. Actually, let's see the help first. <laughs> Being able to control whatever we're doing here is probably a good idea. So let's see. Let's get start. Left stick to move. Mine rocks. Okay, with the A button. Eject cargo with the B button. Light on and off. Left bumper. Okay, very good. Very good. Oh, it looks like uh, we waited too long and the sun went down. That's fine. Um, let's 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 play. Oh, we we get some backstory. Largely unexplored, but mineral rich plant was recently assigned to the da 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 da. Energy extraction unit sent to this planet has gone missing. Oh, well, that's not ominous. Our new missions deliver valuable minerals to orbit via the already constructed hydro platform and cargo rocket. Okay, so we're mining shit. Very good. If you any findings related to the missing extraction unit, use caution as you perform your task. Replacement units are expensive. Gee, thanks. Showing a lot of fucking concern for us. They don't fuck up, otherwise we gotta replace you, and that costs money. Alright, well here we are. Okay, so we're in a little, um... That's interesting. So we're in a little, uh, old submarino here. Uh... That's very interesting. I don't like the entire left half of my screen has got like a little CRT fuzziness to it. That seems like that shouldn't be there. But hey, early prototype. I'm willing to willing to set aside a lot as long as uh, we end up having fun here. So we're a little we're a little submarine thing here, I guess. Uh, okay, there's our uh, our headlights. It's dark. It's nighttime. Oh, there's a rock. Let's mine it. Okay. We, we got ourselves a gem. All right. Seems pretty straightforward. Mine ourselves some gems. Return it back to the uh, little platform that's got our little indicator there. We're 200 some meters away. No problem. Oh, that's interesting. What's, what do we got here? Three little glowing pedestal things. That's fine. Oh, and we're at the shoreline. Okay. Okay, so it seems like we're dealing with 2D only here, despite the visuals being 3D. So 2.5D, right? Only move left, right, up, down. That's fine. Uh, we got a couple meters on the left. Looks like that sun, sunlight, a sunlight meter and an, an anchor meter, <laughs> which is movement. Okay, okay, so it costs us our anchor meter for movement, but then we can recharge it just by staying still. Okay, oh, another interactable here. Oh, that's really bright. Bright enough to charge our sunlight meter. Okay. Okay. Oh, now we're moving a touch faster. I guess that makes sense since our speed efficiency is 120%. Somehow. But boy howdy, that uh, that sunlight meter goes down fast, so we don't get much. We don't get much time with it, do we? But presumably since it's uh, dark out, That meter does not, uh, does not stay charged during the evening. Let's see what we got here. So let's see what else we're, what, what else are we told here? Cargo capacity 28%. Uh, I guess that's cargo capacity left. Remaining, whatever. And we've got, okay, maybe, maybe we can math this out a bit. Um, we've got 19 gems and we've got 24% remaining. Can we, so that sounds like maybe we can can we carry 25 gems at a time? Oh, must be. Uh, is it getting light out, or is this the light from the plants that's uh, charging our sun meter there? Let's surface and see what what the time of day. Oh yeah, the dawn is approaching. Very good. Okay, well let's see if we can't fill up our cargo entirely. Let's math out. Uh, yeah, 20% remaining, and we've got 20. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's definitely 25. We can carry up to 25 gems, it seems. So there we go. 25 gems. Cargo capacity 0%. We may as well go dump them off, then. 
Would hate to run across a cache of gems and not be able to carry them all. I haven't seen anything so far that would uh, constitute a threat to us, so we can take our sweet ass time doing whatever we need to do. Uh, how do I? Is it B? Yeah, okay. B to empty out our cargo hold. Alright, oh, and there goes the... There goes the rocket. <laughs> Very good. Alright, so we went to the leftmost point of this little area here, so uh, I guess we'll just kind of explore to the right. See what we can see. Because we don't need our... need to turn on our light there. We can see things plenty good. With the exception of this weird, like, little half seas screen filter in the left, which I don't really understand what the deal is with that, but hey. Oh, more rocks. Guess we should probably skim the bottom as long as we've got the surface in, uh, in sight here. So that seems to be where all the fancy ass rocks be. Looks like we got the entrance to a cave here. All right, well, I'm not brave enough to go look at that just yet. Let's go over the top. Let me see. Just be a little tiny thing here. Ah, it's another one of the glowy things that'll recharge our, well, maybe recharge our sun meter whilst we're in the deep. Doesn't stay on for very long, so it doesn't do much for us. Unfortunate, but it but it is what it is. Okay. Spooky ass underwater cave. Looks like we had several different paths to go now. Uh let's take the top path. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about us shoving our our butts underwater permanently here, so uh, let's take the top path to make sure we don't miss anything. It's pretty much just... Oh, there's just one gem here. Great. Perfect. Worthwhile. Is there another path up to the top here that we didn't... Oh, nice. Okay. A little hard to see, even with our headlight on full. Wonder if that's just an, an aesthetic, like we're building environment here, right? Building a feel, spooky depths, and whatnot. Oh, we ran out of power entirely there. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, why aren't we moving? Okay, so our, our little anchor movement meter there was entirely depleted. It startled me for a bit. Hopefully we won't have to get away from anything really quick, because uh, I have a feeling that um, it might be bad. So we are not moving extremely fast here. Oh, there's these weird glowy green things again. Oh, glowy red things now. Uh, hmm. You'd think that would be. Uh, that looks like it might be a doorway of some description, but I don't think we have any way to interact with it, do we? All we got is our little. little thing with our little laser that nukes rocks and lets us collect the gems, right? But alright, okay, we know that's there. Guess we'll try to remember. Try to remember what this is or where this is. We can't do anything with it. Mm. All right. I guess for the time being, we'll just collect some gems and bring them back. So we have confirmed that we can carry 25 total at a time. 
two more. We can grab two more before we gotta go back. Looks like about a half kilometer now. full up the way it is. Chugging along at a grueling 52% speed efficiency. Not very efficient, but I guess since we're laden down with gems, so that makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, may as well try to find our way out of here then. exploration at approximately the speed of crawl is uh, not terribly exciting. But hey, I guess we're here to do a job. We're here to collect gems and shit and not get destroyed or sunk or whatever. Alright, there's the weird glow. Okay, so now the weird glow thing is recharging us a little bit if we just kind of hang out here for a bit. Just stay still. Alright. Ah, and then we found the surface again. Good. And it appears to be daytime, so we're not losing our little sun meter, which means uh, we're at max speed. Well, presumably. Once we dump all our stuff off, we'll be back to 120%. Then we can book it. Forty-nine gems total into orbit. I don't, I don't know what the significance of that is, other than that's the job we've been told to do, right? Man, how short are the day-night cycles here? The sun's already setting. There we go. All right, we launch off there. Put forty-nine on the board. Good. Uh, you know, early prototype, so that might not mean anything at the moment. But it is good to see the numbers go up, I suppose. Pretty sunset, though. Got that going for us. Uh, oh, hey. Since from already detected high levels of energy, the source of the energy seems to be in a location deeper than orbital equipment can clearly detect. Find the source of the unknown energy and determine its function. Research collection now has secondary importance until more data is going to be gathered. Previous extraction unit possibly encountered this energy source. Use caution. May have led to its disappearance. Be inconvenient to send yet another extraction unit. Oh boy. Very veiled way to say, be careful, idiot. We don't want to replace you. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to find the, the weird energy signature, I guess. And extraction is secondary. So, uh... Alright. Still, so we haven't really really set off on our big adventure just yet. We may as well grab a few things and head back real quick. So we can make number go up. 57 gems in orbit. Hooray. Maybe eventually we'll get something with which to defend ourselves. Clearly our mining laser is not up to the task. Or even allowed to be up to the task. I'm not gonna make it back before running out of power. Alright. So that was just the 8 from that little tiny cavern we skipped over before. 
Now it might be a good idea to go back to the weird, like, red triangle pedestal things, since that might have opened up. Who knows? Refind where the heck that was. I know it was just over that first cave. It's kind of like a squiggle path on down. And the second one? Or is this the. Okay, I think this was the first one. Derp. Yeah, because we're about 400. 400 or so meters away from our little platform thing. Which honestly, would it kill the platform to come along with us so we didn't have to make that trek back to to dump our stuff, right? But, ah, uh, whatever. Probably best for us to leave our headlight off, actually, because it seems like we're... Maybe this isn't the same rechargey bit from before, is it? I feel like we should have been able to go deeper. Oh, or no, no, because then there was an upper path, right? Which is what I had taken before. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, if we turn on our headlight, then all the ambient lighting goes away. I guess that tracks, though. Disturbing the natural ecosystem a little bit here. We'll do our best not to do that. If there's enough, uh, if there's enough light for us to see by, we don't need to turn our lights on. It's prettier this way, anyways. Probably make another stop off anyway since we're over 50% capacity the way it is. Oh, easy. Hey Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see ya. This is, uh, this is Drew's new game. This is a very early prototype of Exodiver. Version 0.0.1, .0 in fact, is what the title screen told us, so, uh... We ain't gonna judge it too harshly. We're just gonna look at it, we're gonna play through it a little bit, and then see what we think. As that's what was asked of us, really. He wants feedback. He wants feedback, is what he wants, so that's what we're gonna do. Play a little bit, see what we got. Zero point zero one tag is just the reef. <laughs> You're not wrong, are you? <laughs> like, for, like, right? Like zero point zero point one. Fucking set up the repository. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. Like, you gotta have a, you gotta have like a little, little baseline, right? So you, you get the repository set up. You make your first commit, first push. That's what you need. That's what you need to do to to get started. I know the feel. I know the feel. I've definitely done my own fair share of all of that. Alright. So we are, uh... Okay. It's about 415 meters away is where we need to make the dive into that cave. Somewhat surprised our little sun meter on the left isn't draining here, considering it is now the depths of the night. But eh. I ain't gonna complain. It gets us gets us higher speed, is what it does. 
whoever sent us out in this job better be happy that we're bringing back another 21 gems. Even though now it's secondary, they told us to go... They, they even tell... Okay, yeah, here we can re re review our mission here. First, fucking collect gems. Next, investigate weird energy source. Oops, I think I dropped a gem. There we go. Alright, did it. Now we'll have 78. 78 gems in orbit. Seems like a good number. Seems like a lot of gems. And those are some big ass gems, too. Like, dang, I'm surprised we were, were able to fit 25 of those in, uh, in our little submersible here. Feels like a little bit of physical impossibility, but hey, whatever. Read your game logic, right? Alright, what did I say about 400? 400, 400 meters before we hit the cave entrance, right? Uh, actually, before we do that, let's skim along the surface a little bit. See, like, what's the... What's the entire width of this play area we can deal with before we have to go down? So I feel like perhaps the... The major axis in this game is the up down rather than the left right, right? That would make sense for a, a game about diving. <laughs> uh, a lot of rocks there too. Hell over here, we'll grab a few others. Oh wow. Big pile there. Uh, another one of those. Yep, yeah, okay, so I have a feeling that this will be the right hand side border. Yep, at about 700 meters. Okay. Tracks. Oh! Well, that activated the thing. Uh. I, I don't. Hmm. I feel like we shouldn't go into the glowy bit, but let's go into the glowy bit. <laughs> oh, hey, cool! That teleported us. that fair amount back. Oh, to the other side of the map, actually. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, you know, I can I can deal with that. So did that activate it that we can go back the other way, or...? Oh, no. Okay, well, we've got some teleport shit going on. Very good. You like me some teleport shit. Plus, I was kind of hoping we didn't need to truck all the way back here to deposit these now 23 gem. Put us at 101. I wonder if 101 is going to be a magic number. To advance, uh, advance the story here? I guess we'll find out. I think hitting triple digits might do it, right? I think it was about 50 before they said, hey, maybe go check out this energy signature and don't worry about getting gems and shit. Let's see if this will take us back now. No, perhaps not. Don't. Okay. One way teleport. Very good. Alright, no problem. At least now we're moving at a pretty good clip since we got no gems and 100% sun power going on there. Yeah, the view is pretty good, right? It's very, very pretty, very calm, very peaceful so far. Can't really tell if this is sunrise or su okay, it's sunset. <laughs> it's sunset as the frankly gigantic ass sun starts uh, going down there. Uh, okay, no, we need to go a little bit further. Okay, here's the entrance to the cave. Alright, instead of going all the way, though, let's uh, see if there's any other caves on this kind of ladder half. <laughs> like, no worries, I got you. <laughs> yeah, we can just barely make it out. 
just under the water here, right? Okay, looks like there's a slight bit of something here. I think this just would lead us back in, right? Okay, which is fine, which is fine. Actually, this is where we want to be. So I want to try to get back to where we found the red stuff. The red little cylinders. feel like it was a little squiggle bit over here. Oh, plus a whole fucking jeez pile of gems. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's just drop all of our shit here, because I want to be faster, just in case stuff starts going off. Since we've been charged to investigate now, rather than uh, pick that stuff up, right? See, look at how much faster we are. That's better. We need to book on out of there real quick, like. I feel like there's one of the weird shiny things over there, too, but maybe not. Ah, okay, so here's... Here's the one I was looking for, but... Uh, there's still nothing interactable about it, which seems a little bit bizarre. Okay, that's, that's fine, I guess. A thing that's positively leaking gems up from above, too. Let's see what we got. Yeah, interesting. Okay. I feel like I need to find that other, um, that other weird, like, pyramid-looking thing. Activate it and then come back here. I feel like it wasn't too far away from here, either. It's like we came up in here. Oops. Lost our anchor movement meter there. We kind of wiggled our way down. Where we left the remains of them. Alright, we'll just load up and we'll truck on back. Slowly, I'll, I'll admit. Very kind of slow at 50% speed here, but. You know, we haven't seen anything that would. Uh, that would make this a dangerous prospect yet. Like, it's a little spooky but it's not threatening. Try to find where that other one wants that I was thinking of. I thought it was just beneath one of these gem outcroppings here. Crystal outcroppings, rather. Although this feels like going way deeper than perhaps we should. looking for. Ah, okay, so this is at the end of the end of the pathway here. Alright, well no matter, let's Get back, dump off these 25 gems, and then come back and purely do the exploration bit. Pick up these generic ass crystals. Find my way back out of here, though. Ah, here's the other one I was looking for as well. surface. Alright, so then we got just a little short jaunt on back. I do appreciate that we were given time to drink on our way back, too. Very thoughtful.
briefly caught uh, the sight of a shooting star there. Pretty neat. Okay. I think really the only other place that's sort of unexplored is that other cave we just came from, so... Let's head on back! There's not going to be much else to look at because there's no other open paths to us. There's got to be something with that triad of red cylinders, though. I feel like that's going to be important. Now that we know there's teleports and shit involved, right? dead end. We have to peek up and around a little bit. It's also a dead end. I think the topmost path. Is the topmost path the one? I think this goes... No, this doesn't go back up to the surface. This bit goes back up the surface, right? So then that leads to the far side, which we don't want to go to. This is just a little side bit with a big bunch of rocks in it previously. Extra little stash for when we need to book it out, right? Because we still have one. Come on. <laughs> Box on that is pretty wide. Alright, I think this led us back to. other thing I can think of that we've seen so far that is relatively unique here. Unless we have to find the other instances of that, which we saw one on the very left hand side near the shore, on the very right hand side near the shore, and then a couple, a couple other ones kind of on the way. But even so, they didn't have really anything more to them. into every one of these little tiny branches of the caverns to see what we can see. I think this just leads down to one of the other things, right? Yeah. Which is good. I mean, that's it's good that we identified that's where it was, but... But now what? Because <laughs> it didn't really activate this thing. It turned this crystal from blue to purple, I guess? Or was it always purple? I don't remember. But I feel like that's a good sign, right? Not that the 
it's helped us terribly much, though, because no indicator that it did anything beyond that little area. I guess that's why this is called an adventure game. You have to run around and figure sh out. Let's see what we see. I have a little adventure. Then there's this one. That turns that one purple as well, which is interesting. You know, I'm actually kind of curious. We're going to science this a bit. I'm going to see how long this stays purple, because if this is a thing about timing and whatever... It seems like it might be kind of tight. So much as how much time we have to get back to now. Perhaps those little red cylinder things. Okay, it does eventually fade back to normal ass blue. But it's hard to tell, like, if that's important or if it's just a thing where, like, hey, as long as this, this crystal is purple, you can charge your sun meter or whatever. Because even with that activated, I don't think we would have enough time to hit it, go hit the other one, and then get back to the, the triad of red cylinders there. Wait for this to fade out entirely. Okay, activate it and book our way back out. Since we got a dead end right away, derp. Reactivate it. Hopefully that resets whatever timer is present on there. Good job, idiot. Although, it, it's weird, because once we activate this, it recharges our sun meter even after we leave its presence. Seems kind of odd. Alright, let's go with it. I guess that's a, probably a good indicator that it's already turned off. Or maybe we just got out of range. Thing. Oh, here. It's this. Okay, so there's one up there. There's also that, which doesn't really tell me much, though. Hmm. Which leads me to believe that this is the exit point of a teleport from somewhere else which would then lead us into here, right? Hmm. Very curious. What a mystery. What a mystery we've got to try to unravel here. On top of finding the previous dudes who are extracting gems out of here, right? Wonder if we're supposed to have we're supposed to have a bunch of, of gems with us to activate it, maybe? Since we're so close and we've got a big stash of them there. Mm, 
Nothing seems different. No, nope, still a solid ass wall there. What about this other one up here? No. Nope. Still very solid. Okay. Hmm. Not quite sure what they want us to do then. Yeah, investigate the energy signature. Well, you want to tell me where that energy signature is, or...? I feel like that red triangle thing is the only... only real point of interest down here. There's another branching cave that I didn't see. It's really our options are to explore with the light on or explore with the light off. Carrying gems or not carrying gems. And that's about it. That's the only things we can control at this point. So we have to try to suss out the combination of conditions that get us to the next thing. So if we go back over here, right? We go back over here to the extreme right-hand side. We activate this thing. See, now that powered up. Which is interesting. Do we just need to leave it powered up? And then go investigate the other ones? It appears that that's staying on, regardless of this thing being lit or not, so that's... that's good. I'll leave that. Now with that turned on, let's go back to reinvestigate this thing. Eventually, I'll remember how to get there. Very gently down at the bottom. <laughs> okay, uh, well. What did that do for us? Anything? Not really. Hmm. Let me go find that other power-up thing, then. Let's see if that has changed now that we left the other one on the extreme right-hand side on.
don't know change here either. on long enough for it to probably have an effect on anything else outside itself, right? thing to it. It's literally just this, though. Hmm. There was anything else besides that one very small cave over here, which was just the one room, really. I have nothing else to it. This just goes up to the platform, which we don't give a shit about, right? And somewhat off to the left was the first shoreline we bumped into. Which all this thing has is this. A heap of gems. And this, which was where we teleported from the right shore over to here. Which, okay, fine, I guess. Does it? Hmm. really doing anything anymore. Can't even be sure that that was really the trigger for uh, the story progression the way it is. That might have just been a time-based thing. It could be that we just uh, have come to the end of the prototype, really, right? There might not be a, a second, or third, rather, third bit after the, after them telling us, hey, getting gems is secondary, go check out this energy source or whatever.
activated all those weird pyramid things several times a piece, right? It's not like that's gonna make a difference if we do another iteration through it, right? I mean, this thing is still up there. Thing's still steadily leaking gems. This thing still hasn't done anything since the first time we saw it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Unless they're expecting us to go through that teleport thing on the right shore more than once. Worth a shot, I guess. Rapidly running out of uh, ideas to move this along. Curious if that uh, teleporter is still going to be active at this point. I want to think it will be since we didn't take it last time, but. It's interesting, this weird little plant things kind of just landed and started sprouting. Hmm. Probably just an aesthetic thing rather than something that actually makes a difference. Okay, hmm. What else can we try here? Not really giving me much to work with here. Yeah, it sounds like that's still active. Alright, cool, cool, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So those in the presence of this thing charge up, it appears. Does that matter, I wonder? Or is that just a visual? Hmm. I feel like that might be important. Hmm. Okay. I, okay, I think I see. I think I see what's going on. So, with that in mind, can we Leave a trail such that. Aha ha ha ha! Aha! Oh, I see! I see! Okay. I see what's going on here. Well, looks like we might have enough to make this work. I think this thing was just over here, yeah? Oh no. 
Oh boy. Uh, how in the, how is this gonna work then? Huh. Because what I'm thinking is right here. We're gonna have to trail gems all the way along to kind of transfer power from the closest thing, which is gonna be. I don't know, what's the closest thing going to be here? Well, now that we have something to do here. lit up. How, how wide is the uh, transfer radius on this? Pretty gosh dang wide. Okay. Um, well, that being the case then, where does this one take us? Ah, all the way back out. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Now it'll take us over there. And these are still... Are these still lit up? Hell yeah, they're still lit up. Okay, good. Interesting. to anything over there though so okay all right well knowing what we know now oh interesting i wonder if these are permanently lit up now because now they're not really actively connected to a power source right this thing is just on forever. This one probably still needs a trail over to it because it doesn't have one of those big... Actually, hold on a second. It's kind of disconnected a little bit. this back down there and then they okay that would explain why they give us a pile here so what's the closest one that we can trail to here it's gonna be the one in the deeper room probably which is gonna be a, a bit of a pain to try to trail these around but if it means doing something certain how we would get it to do that now. Because I don't think we can really trail it up, necessarily. So let's see just how wide a gap we can leave in these.
fairly wide gap, we can do it. So I wonder if that one stays lit. So it doesn't need to have a permanent connection. Try to balance it out in some of these, huh? So I'm feeling physics is going to be working against us a little bit, maybe? That's just gonna slide down, little piece of shit. Very, very slowly. I don't know where the next one would be, actually. Can it go through walls? Mm. Ah, it's all the way over here. Yikes. Well, I guess then it would almost have to be... I would have to build the trail and then kind of connect it up. In the hopes that physics doesn't fuck me over here. Disconnected. All right, so the entire thing kind of ich itself. Hmm. So it does need to be consistently connected, otherwise they do lose their things. Okay. see what the range on these is. Pretty far, it seems. Pretty far, yeah. Let's see. Not that far. So now we've got an idea on what to do, though. This is eventually done away with this. This one at least seems it's permanently on, so that's good. Hm. 
didn't mean to do that, but hey, 18 through is pretty good. Unless we can grab a whole pile here. Although maybe I should build this out. Uh, although maybe it seems like we only need to get to this cluster. Alright, so we've got plenty to come back for here, that's fine. Curious what the physics is going to be like here. This is mostly a flat floor, so that's good. Generating any new ones. I wonder if there's a, probably a, a limit of how many can be out in the world here. Is that just going to tumble off? Yep. Okay, I'll have to see what we can do to get this chain connected up and then worry about the physics of it later. Can't imagine that we're going to be able to do this, though. This feels like there's too many steep ass slopes to make this chain work but we'll see I guess we'll see it's fine so yeah physics definitely had its way with things here I don't think I was able to balance one quite on this ledge here was I out right away. Yeah, there's not quite enough distance there to make it do the thing. I'd have to do that. And that goes kind of up. It's got quite a distance there, at least. Doesn't 
sort of does temporarily. I need to just hang out for a bit. And then I can transfer up. And down to here, which doesn't make much sense, honestly. Because we need to pile this one up here, right? Does it have to go across? Get it with maybe one or two. Then otherwise it seems like you just gotta be quick enough to no, not like that though, because that one doesn't go anywhere. Quick enough to set them down as you go. Oh wait, this just goes back out here. That's the wrong direction to go anyways. Which path is it then? It's not down here, I didn't think. No, oh, because this just leads to a dead end. Alright, so that we don't need to go all the way up that way. down here, I think. Yeah, alright. I think we've got enough room to set this one up, at least. It's going to be a rough physics go of it, isn't it? That should probably be fine. Once that's lit up, just drop, keep dropping a couple down here to light that up. And then we're good. Okay, how many do I have on me? 18. Let's refill before we go back. Presuming there's a few spare I can jack out of here. Yeah. Twenty-one should be enough to finish the chain here. I hope. <laughs> it's gonna be a matter of finding where the big enough gaps are that we need to do this. So definitely on the ascent here, or descent here rather. This should probably be fine on its own. Uh, the descent down here, unless this has got enough of a crack on it to not physics its way down. Please, physics. It's kind of. <laughs> there, like something like that. I just need it to very gently catch itself in this crack, which I don't think. Might not be a yeah, it might not be a possibility unless I get it to tip over sooner rather than later. There. And then we're gonna hope that we don't accidentally pick it up on the way through. And even if we do, I guess it doesn't matter. We just drop another one and keep the chain going. Ah, the center of gravity is dumb. Okay, that one's definitely going to have to be one we do ourselves. Climb 
here is going to be interesting. Though, is there a way to... Oh, okay, no, this is, this is where this one kind of jumps in line here, so we don't need those two there. Need to complete the chain here to get this up here. Otherwise, this one was lit up, I think. Yeah. This looks too steep to just drop one and hope that it doesn't slide its butt down, right? Yeah, because there's not enough friction to stop it from just tumbling right on over, I don't think. So we'll just watch it for a moment. Uh, yeah, nope. <laughs> you little shit. Okay. Then this might be a, a chain we need to connect on our own then. All the way up to here. Forget which path of these needs to lead to where we need to. Okay, so that goes up and out. You go instead down here. Yeah, so we need to go over here because this is where the other bit of it kind of stops. Stable enough. So we're just gonna have to trail it down here. Ugh, it's gonna be a bit of a slog. taking over on that one. Which might not be a bad thing, but I just have a feeling that we don't want any of these to move. Alright, I've got 20 to work with the, to complete the chain in the in the gaps here. Give it a try. I wish these would just hang out. Yeah, it's very, very, very slowly slipping its way down. Alright, well, if it's gonna do that, drop it there and start the whole thing and try to do what we need to do. This one, and this one, go down over to here, hopefully that'll light up the joint, and no, not enough. There we go. <laughs> it's like, come on. 
All right, in we go. <laughs> Into the unknown. Okay, there we go. I figured that was going to be the, the end of it there. Uh, all right, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Did take us a, a hot second to figure out the whole glowy crystal bits. But I think that's a perfect little thing for a, a little tiny grab bag for Saturday, isn't it? Just a perfect little little nugget. Little nugget of something. And then we will we'll definitely convey our feedback to Drew uh, later. <laughs> Later. All right. Well, we did it. We we made the we made the thing. We got the gems, and then we investigated the energy thing, and we disappeared. Hooray! Hooray! All right. Okay. Well, that's Exo Diver for now. Extremely early prototype. Uh, it's pretty. It's very very neon, as as Drew likes to do. So that's good. Matches him perfectly. Uh, hmm. Now, do we want to continue with something else, or do we just want to call it and take the rest of the day to relax? I think that's what we'll do. I think we will call it there. We had our little bit of fun with Exo Diver here. I think we've uh, done enough strimming for one day. And we'll just do some other stuff until tomorrow. So that'll do it for today. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night. 7 p.m. CDT, the long place, so more dead cells uh, for at least this weekend. Yep, yeah, we'll see what we do next weekend. Then Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back with Unexplored. One more week to that, at the very least, because we're having fun with it. But that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.